Once you have mastered straight and level flight, you can focus on making oval patterns at a constant height above the ground. I'm now flying on a line parallel to the runway at a constant height. I'll execute a 180 degree turn, putting the aircraft over the far side of the runway. There we go. And now I'll perform another 180 degree turn and establish the parallel track again to complete the oval. You want to try and keep the turns equal in radius. At first you'll find it difficult to keep the straight parts of the oval parallel to each other. There's a natural tendency to fly toward the pilot. Practice is the key to that. Once you've mastered ovals, you can try doing figure eights. And just like with uh, straight and level flight, it's important to practice with various wind settings. A crosswind makes oval and figure eight tracks more difficult. And a headwind can make it difficult to make constant radius turns. Remember to use the rudder to make course corrections during the parallel segments of the oval. A small application of rudder is usually all it takes to keep the aircraft on its track. You want to practice holding in a small input rather than jerking the stick. There's a natural tendency to over control when learning new things. It's just kind of a normal part of the human learning process. The more you practice RC flying, the more that'll go away and you'll become very smooth. I'll bring in for a landing, and that completes the lesson.